Economic recessions can have serious effects on state revenue. That's why the majority of states have revenue reserve funds in place to support state spending during times of hardship. Georgia created its revenue shortfall reserve, also known as a rainy day fund, in 1976, making it one of the first states to adopt this policy. The goal of the reserve is to maintain at least 4% of the prior year's revenue collections, which fund state services like schools, healthcare programs, and more. This reserve is added to automatically at the end of each year if there is extra revenue beyond what the state spends. Basically, that means if Georgia collects more in revenue from things like corporate income tax than the state uses to fund programs and services, there will be additional funds available that are added to the state's reserve. It's like a savings account that helps the state to prepare for emergencies. This rainy day fund is in place to help avoid steep budget cuts for essential programs like education and healthcare that are crucial for every Georgia community and our economy as a whole. Georgia's current rainy day fund sits at $2.7 billion. In order to maintain the required 4% baseline of last year's revenue collections, the state could spend $1.7 billion from the reserve fund this year. But the governor's budget proposal for fiscal year 2022, which begins on July 1st of this year, doesn't use any of the reserve funds. In fact, the governor's proposal includes budget cuts of $1.2 billion from state services like public education, public health, and cash assistance for needy families. We are still in the middle of a pandemic, and communities across our state continue to struggle as a result of COVID-19. This is a time that the Rainy Day Fund was created for. If we're not going to use reserve funds to support Georgians during this pandemic, then when is the time to tap this reserve? Our state should utilize our Rainy Day Fund to help Georgians recover from COVID-19. To learn more, visit gbpi.org.